Hi, I'm Pat Hopper with Embedded Computing Design, and we're here in the Qualcomm booth, Hall 5, 161, and I'm here with Nikul Dugal, and he's the GM of IoT, Automotive, and Cloud. Did That's I get right. that right? That's right. Excellent. So, obviously Qualcomm, you guys have a great booth here. What news are you guys highlighting from the show here? Well, you know, uh, this is an industrial and embedded show for us, and we've made uh, two important announcements. The first one is our micro-power Wi-Fi, okay. which is brand new technology, very low power, to be able to enable a wide variety of end applications to get connected. The other big news is our RB3 Gen 2, which is our next generation IoT platform designed for a very wide variety of applications. It's a connected platform. It comes with built-in Yocto Linux. It is focused on enabling AI across a very wide variety of applications, robotics, drones, uh, industrial cameras. Uh, so, mm -hmm. super excited to be here. Well, great. Well, well, when I think about Qualcomm, I think of automotive and I think of IoT. Tell me a little bit more about what you're doing here around those two topics. Yeah. Look, automotive has been a major uh, diversification focus for us uh, over the last many years. And uh, you know, as the auto industry has uh, gone through a tremendous amount of change, what we find is the role of semiconductors keeps on increasing. Mm -hmm. Cars are becoming much more software-centric. A lot of new technologies start to get uh, embraced by the auto industry. We have uh, pivoted our roadmap to start to make uh, chipsets that are ruggedized, that are designed for functional safety, that are designed for the harsh environments that automotive requires you to be able to go withstand. And uh, all of that is actually heavily leverageable and reusable in the industrial space mm. as well. Uh, cars are, uh, you know, they are homes on wheels, offices on wheels, so you need to be able to deal with a lot of different technologies, consumer yeah. technology, industrial technologies, all of that coming together allows us to be fairly nimble in terms of bringing new tech to what you might otherwise think are slower moving markets, but actually are moving very quickly. And in, in IoT and automotive are intrinsically linked, so tell me a little bit more about that. So I think it really depends upon the application. The one big difference in a car is that there is a human that is behind the wheel, but the car in and of itself is a pretty complicated, uh, you know, uh, a robot on wheels, so to say. So you have to be able to deal with safety, but you also have to be deal uh, have to be able to deal with consumer needs at the same time. I look at industrial applications as some spectrum of use cases on that overall uh, uh, you know, uh, focus areas that you could potentially uh, drive. So for example, in industrial automation, you need to be able to have the same types of complexity that you might in a robotic environment. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you're focused on a retail setting, there is definitely a human element that is involved, yeah. but there could be AI involved there as well. So it's a wide variety of use cases across the same spectrum, and uh, one has more complexity, more concurrency than the other. So Qualcomm's a big company, but you obviously can't do all this stuff on your own, and I know you got a lot of partners. I was just at a press conference a few minutes ago talking about one of your partners. Give us a little bit more about your partner program. Yeah, partnerships are super important for us because with these types of uh, industries, you know, there is a lot that we need to learn. Uh, these are industries that we are very new to, and uh, uh, they are very broad, they, are, uh, they, they serve many end markets, they are very regionalized, they are, they are very uh, industry vertical specific. So our, our approach has always been to build open platforms, to lean on our strengths, but also pull partners together. You will see a lot of partners here at our booth. We have over 35 partners that we are showing here yeah. itself. And uh, that is just the approach that we have taken and that allows us to really be able to do what we do really well mm -hmm. and rely on hardware partners, software ecosystem partners, various, various cloud partners to essentially you know, shine together. Great, well again, we're here at Embedded World with Qualcomm. Feel free to visit in Hall 5, and you can also probably visit you online at qualcomm.com, right? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too.